and he went towards the city of Median, and this is a city in Yemen where there was another prophet there, Shu'ayb alayhi salam, Shu'ayb peace be upon him, was in that city. Musa went all the way from Egypt to Yemen walking, so much so he was so tired, so exhausted, and when he came close to that city, he found the people watering their cows, their, their animals. And there was two women staying away from the people, waiting for them to finish. Moses, he was tired, he was so hungry, he was very exhausted, but he was a man of honor. He was a man of morals. He cannot see anything wrong and not to correct it. So he rushed away to, rushed very fast to these two ladies standing. And he told them, why are you standing over here? And they told him that we want to water our animals. We want to feed our animals. And we cannot intermingle or get inside the men while they're doing so. We will wait till they finish and we will go and do it. And the reason that we're doing that because our father is a very old man, cannot do that for us, and we helping him. Musa right away remembered that he was so tired, so exhausted, but he did that for them. He took their animal and he went inside the men, uh, with the men, and fed their animals. فَسَقَى لَهُمَا And then he went under the shade of the tree and sat there and said, Rabbi inni lima anzalta ilayya min khayrin faqeer. Musa left Egypt, he left the palace of Pharaoh, and he went to Yemen, and he found these two ladies, he helped them, and he went under the shade of the tree, and made the dua, made the dua is prayer to God. He prayed to God, he said, O oh God, O oh Allah, I am so poor, and I need your help. He didn't actually say, I need your help. He said that, Oh Allah, I am so poor, and you know my condition. And inshallah, next time when we meet, you will see how Allah will help Musa, and the condition will be changed to Musa السلام, again. The, this time we traveled, I, I need you to capture the time with me, because that we will move with Musa from one place to the other. First, he was in Egypt, was born to the mother, uh, that she was so afraid about him, and she put him in the Nile, and uh, she, he landed at the house of Pharaoh, at the house of Pharaoh, and uh, then he killed the Egyptian, and he was so afraid to be killed, and then he escaped from Egypt uh, to save his life, and he went to Yemen, and in the Yemen, he sat under the uh, shade of the tree, praying to God to help him. That was Moses salam. At this time, his mother, his brother Aaron, Harun, and his sister were still in Egypt with the children of Israel, where they were oppressed with Pharaoh. I need you to remember that, so that, that's the, the map that we drawing right now, we have people in Egypt oppressed by Pharaoh, and we have Moses, that very poor man in Yemen. Till we meet next time, we'll see what will happen with Musa, and uh, till this time, I hope you have a wonderful uh, time. Please remember to review the story of Musa uh, in the Quran. If you just write Quran, Musa, M-O-S-A, or M-U-S-A, uh, you will find many stories about Musa, Moses in the Quran. Uh, till this time, review it and come prepared next time so you can listen more what will happen to Musa. I hope you uh, and your family very good time and again, uh, welcome to Triangle Islamic Media. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you.